Hello and welcome. Welcome to our meeting, our weekly meeting. This is um, a meeting to get you ready for week five and um, the final collaborative Hello. course. Hello and welcome. Welcome to our meeting. So let me know in the chat box how you are. I hope um, you and your families are doing well and that um, you're safe and of course in good health. So feel free to uh, use the chat box to communicate for now. Later on, I'm going to give you audio so we can also hear you. So people are coming in, not just the participants, but others as well. So welcome them in the chat box. Just want to remind everybody that uh, we're teachers and as teachers uh, we have our learners at our hearts and we care for them that's all we do <laughs> we are teachers who support learners and of course learners can also teach which is one of the things that teachers can enable Another thing that's been coming up quite a bit this week with the teaming up, you're doing a great job and you should be really, really proud of your accomplishments um, with the team learning. It's uh, very gratifying to see how everyone is um, doing amazing work learning with and from one another, because um, that's exactly the point of Moodle. Moodle really does make a difference because it has so many tools that help learners collaborate. So if um, you're managing to do it, congratulations to you for being able to do such a good job. I want to remind you that uh, that's who we are. We are wired to connect as human beings. We learn best when we do it with others. And life is about connecting. And we can see this in the social networks, even though they're not only the best places, but uh, as far as learning is concerned, it's really, really important to get our learners collaborating and working together because that's the fun of learning and learning is fun. We are today on Moodle 311. I don't know if you were there yesterday when I upgraded the system. It takes a long time because this is a huge Moodle site. It's been around since 2009 and it has accumulated a lot. There are a lot of plugins a lot of participants I had to remove. We had over 30,000, so I removed the non-active members of the community to make more room. The reason that I have so many plugins is because um, it offers you a chance to try them out. There are some new plugins that were added, and you'll notice them when you go into your collaborative course. Moodle stands for, and you should know this by now, Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment. It's free, it's open, it's open source, which means that anyone can access the code and make changes, <laughs> not advisable, but you can now uh, develop based on what's already there. Moodle is going through a lot of changes these days. In the fall, as I've mentioned before, I think we'll be working on Moodle 4.0. I always try to have the latest Moodle, stable Moodle. Moodle was founded by Martin Dogiamis. And it is about collaborative working, constructivism and collaboration peer learning, which is actually teaching one another. And that's what you've been doing, learning from each other's work and supporting each other. Just to sum up, in week one, you introduced yourselves to each other. 
you learned about the platform and how to manage it in week two. And you also learned, of course, how to screencast. Those who didn't know how to use a, a screen recorder. Week two, you became teachers and you were able to edit the activities and resources available in this particular Moodle. In week three, you uh, went in as managers and you were able to manage the blocks. I only let you manage the blocks so that nothing else interfered with that aspect. Week four, of course, is about team courses. And these are the three collaborative courses that are available for this particular Moodle training course. One is called, well, you can change the names, Designing Online Courses. The second one is Teaching Strategies in English for Academic Purposes. The third one is the Teacher's Must Have Toolkit. As I said, you can change the names. Long names are kind of difficult for Moodle. And that's why we often use initials, acronyms for it. So the first thing that you asked, and rightly so in week three, when you were trying to figure out what was going to happen, and I did hint that you should take a look at week four. It's always a good idea, I think, in courses to know exactly where you're heading. I leave all the sections open, no surprises, so that if you're able to, you can take a look at what's ahead as well as do some of the activities. Nothing is restricted and everything is open. By the way, this course and all the courses on this particular Moodle site are based on Creative Commons and open source, education open sources, uh, which means um, that you can actually take the course, use it as you wish with your teachers, moderate it, do whatever you want, whether share it or like, as long as you give credit and continue giving credit. In other words, everyone who uses the course or uses any of the content will have to pass it on with the same ability. No one could ever make money on the course or use it for commercial purposes. So what do we teach? That's what you've been asking and rightly so. How do you get a team of teachers who come from different areas, content areas, different age groups? How do you combine all your skills and knowledge into a course? How do you decide on a course? Well, here is a list of courses and topics that you might want to teach. And remember that teaching really allows you to learn. It's a way to learn. So even if you don't know anything about a topic that the team decides to use, you'll be able to learn by looking things up. You can find articles, academic articles, research, and you can find everything by going into Google and looking for it. So there's healthcare, any aspect of healthcare, both mental and physical, good teaching practice, if you want to deal with that as an umbrella topic, arts and craft, if you'd like to teach an art. I recently started juggling, that's an art, it's not a craft, but it's an art, embroidery, whatever kind of handwork crafts that you wanna do, woodworking. Um, tools, how to use tools around the house. There are lots of ideas for courses that would even sell if you wanted to sell your course, but definitely people would join it because it has an interest. Good eating habits. We all suffer from um, not eating for the right reasons, not because we're hungry, but because for emotional reasons, especially with COVID and other stressful events in our lives. So good eating habits, value of sleep. Now, these are some of the topics that my students use to present in the classroom, uh, both young and older, not all the topics, but some of the topics, value of sleep, I make that a requirement. <laughs> 
but I never say it's a requirement for my students to uh, give a lesson, to create lessons. And I'm talking about young learners ages 12 to 15, and they find information about sleep and they present it in teams, of course. And of course, nutrition, long distance running or any kind of sports is fine. You can teach, you don't have to actually play, but you can teach others how to participate. What's the value of long distance running? It's an amazing topic. I know I read a lot about it when I was a teenager because I was interested in uh, long distance. In those days, I sat in a library. <laughs> Nowadays, it's all the information is right there. You just have to know how to get um, information that is uh, credible and not just anything. Good parenting, I think that's a great topic for parents, grandparents, would-be parents, or even kids. You know, they know a lot about parenting, a lot more than we give them credit for, even young, very young learners. Good marriage, what is a good marriage? What is a successful marriage? What makes good relationships if you don't want marriage? Uh, good study habits. I think that as teachers, we probably know a lot about learning and how we did it and how to pass tests. So what are some good study habits? Cooking and baking for those of you that are interested or those of you that would like to learn about cooking and baking. This is a chance to create a course so that you can learn because that's what courses are about for the teacher or the designer. They're about learning and then sharing what you learn, whether it's new or old. Photography, an amazing topic. Uh, test preparation, very similar to good study habits, but not exactly the same. Uh, leadership skills, remember you're doing a course that's not too long, but you can make it as long as you want. Leadership skills, that's a bit heavier. Lots of books on that, a course on that would be great, especially for educators. Pet care and training <laughs> for those of you that have pets, for those of you that would like to have pets or those of you that don't wanna have pets, but would like to teach others about pet care. Travel tips. Okay, this isn't the right time to travel because uh, we're still with COVID, unfortunately. So uh, travel tips for the future after COVID, post COVID travel tips St or Travel tips uh, during COVID, who knows? You can think of lots of ideas. Stress management, huge topic. Um, good presentation skills or poor presentation skills, how to avoid the pitfalls. Growth mindset, what is growth mindset? So, so you start with a definition and then you go on. Very, very easy to create courses once you know what you want to teach. That's key. Generally, you think of a problem. Think of a problem, healthcare, there's a problem. And approach your course from the point of view of a problem. Good teaching practice, there's a problem. Let's solve it with good teaching habits. Arts and craft for mental health or for creativity or whatever, problem. Kids aren't creative enough. Let's teach them arts and craft and so on. Notice I uh, didn't add mindfulness and things that I teach. All right, so you'll be starting off, even though you have started, you've started communicating, live virtual meetings, I know that you've had, and you've been communicating outside of Moodle, inside of Moodle, in and out, which is perfect. That's what life's about. It's not about being stuck in the house or in one environment. Learning is about moving. Your brain likes to move, whether you know it or not. Brain research shows that the brain likes to travel. Your head, so you take your head, walk around, go outside, travel, go from room to room, whatever you can do to move. Movement is very, very important. So even if you're sitting at your desk and doing uh, internet work, so to speak, or on your phone, move around without your phone, just move around. But moving around with your phone is a lot better than sitting at a desktop and not moving. Team collaboration, you're going to, and this is the table of contents, of a Google Doc 
that I think uh, some of you have already started. One person starts it in the team. You copy the doc and then you add everybody's email to it so that they are editors and can edit the document. And these are the topics on the table of contents. Of course, if you click on this, you'll be able to go into each. The PowerPoint presentation is available. It's been available for a few days in week four. Team collaboration, communication details of the members. How will you, what is your communication style? How do you like to communicate? Some of you found out you like WhatsApp. By the way, I lived on WhatsApp with my uh, young learners. That was the only way. And I was, that was one-on-one -on -one communication as well as uh, group communication. Each of my classes had a WhatsApp. Uh, previous to that, I had Facebook groups. Okay, whatever is the trend, wherever the learner is, the teacher, in my opinion, it's not everybody's opinion, um, can facilitate and help support and be there aside as a guide to help out. So nowadays it could be WhatsApp, Telegram, which I, I hear is terrible for security privacy issues. So I would avoid that, um, but it's up to you. Many countries use Telegram. And of course, there is a Facebook chat and other available chats. Goals and skills. What are your goals and skills as a teacher? What do you hope to gain? What skills do you have that you can offer to the team? Okay, this says course team policy, problem solving. How good are you at problem solving? We all are good at problem solving, but how are you good at solving specific problems that relate to this or that? What kind of problems do you like to solve? For example, I like to solve technical problems. I love it when I have, <laughs> especially Moodle problems, Moodle related, I love troubleshooting. Okay, it keeps my energy going. I can stay up for days to solve problems. So what kind of uh, problems do you like to solve? Team ground rules. There should be rules, okay? And in some cases, the teams decide to have a leader. Now, this is something that um, I've debated over the years because I believe in openness and hopefully, and everybody leading everybody and working collaboratively. But it doesn't always work. Sometimes you need a leader. So you might want to set up different roles on your team, even though these roles sometimes come naturally. But uh, to avoid, you know, anyone feeling that they're left out, how can you make everyone feel comfortable, which is sometimes the role of a cheerleader, uh, someone who uh, supports everyone. So having different roles beforehand, not, you know, as a result of uh, the experience with the team. So before you get into trouble, it's good to have a team policy just in case. And then online communication methods, which is similar to number to the second one, leadership style. Are you a leader? Do you want to be the one organizing? If you do, go ahead. I like to follow. I don't really, but if you like to follow, okay, you're a follower. You're, you like to support. You like to help. Out. Whatever your leadership style is, are you a servant leader? Are you, you know, what kind of leader are you? Maybe you want a, a control type of leader where you need to control everything. Let it out. Let everybody know who you are so that there aren't any surprises. If you know that someone on the team likes to have everything under their thumb, you know, let them say it. By saying it, it makes a huge difference instead of just grabbing, you know, and doing what comes naturally to you, say it. I like to lead, I don't know, whichever leadership style you have. The roles of each team members, I said, you know, who's the leader, who's the um, 
the research person who finds information, who is the cheerleader, the one that cheers everybody and tells the timekeeper and tells them, listen, we better hurry up. We're off course. Let's get back into the course, into our, you know, topics. So get some roles out there. Think about them. Uh, this is great for critical thinking. It's good for students, by the way. I've been doing this for many years. They love it. They love the fact that they have control of most things, but there is some kind of framework that they can work within so they don't feel completely lost. Uh, collaborative course syllabus. Now, syllabus is important because it gets you thinking about different aspects of your course, not just the topic, but other aspects like a title, which probably should come at the end because uh, that's the last thing. And you can vote on this, of course, logo. Uh, that's at the end, abstract, sum up, that could also come at the end. Audience, that's important. That should come at the beginning. Who's your audience? Ages, background, important to visualize them as you create and develop your course. Duration of the course, how long do you want it? You have to know this. If you've got four teachers collaborating on your team, you could have eight sections, which is maybe four weeks, maybe eight weeks. A section could have a lot of information in it. It's up to you how long the duration of the course. If it's a university course, generally there are 14 to 15, sometimes 16 weeks, depending on the university. Topic sections. Now, this is really important. Once you have everything ready, and you can always make changes, of course, get your topic sections labeled. Give them names. Platform. What platforms are you going to use besides the Moodle? Or maybe you're just creating your course on the Moodle and you'd like to migrate it to Canvas. You can do that. You can take a whole Moodle course, back it up, and move it to Canvas. So for example, maybe that's the platform you'll be using. But other platforms that you might use alongside your Moodle site. And you could use a lot of platforms, by the way, a lot of other LMSs too. Technology, what tools are you going to use? You know, they, they will come. You might want to have a list, start the list off, let everybody write what they think, and then decide what you want to use and what you don't want to use. Moderators, okay, you're going to introduce the moderators of your course. So you should have a list of moderators. And how do you want to introduce them? By videos. Videos, by the way, is a great way to introduce each section, topic section, and to introduce the facilitator. And if in your course, the facilitator is the same person who's leading the section, they might want to introduce themselves and then introduce the section and the purpose, of course, of the section. Uh, these are things that you will have in your courses. The courses are all set up. I'm sure you've had a chance to look at them. Some of you have started your courses, which is great. Remember, everything online can be changed. It's, you don't have to erase anything. You don't need to have a special ink and an eraser. Everything can be edited, deleted, whatever you want. So in the first zero section of each course, there's what's called an overview. Does everybody see the overview? Or do I need a, a pencil here? There's the overview. Let me know in the chat. I see there are lots of things in the chat. I hope one of them is not that you can't hear me. <laughs> that would be devastating. But, you know, that's part of. So you guys can hear. Obviously, because I don't see anybody saying, yes, there's a great question there. Thank you for asking it for Sini. Definitely, you know it. Yeah, most of the courses that are created in MMs, like MM21, MM20, and so on, all these are actually uh, given, most of them are given in EVO. There's a proposal that starts around um, October. October from September, sorry, at the end of the September, so that you'll have a chance to work on these. Um, and then the proposal, I will help you, of course, with the proposal so that your 
course will definitely be an EVO session. EVO calls them sessions and the sessions, um, the proposals have to be in, in September, mid-September, end of September. And um, the, court, the sessions, EVO sessions start in January, mid-January. So definitely thank you for mentioning that. Yes. Um, as teachers to moderate, it's, um, it's really nice when I did this last year, last year, I don't know if uh, you heard me mention this, so I'll mention it again. But last year we had, um, how many, we had 11 sessions on the Moodle, on this Moodle site from Evo. And I think five of them were from a Moodle MOOC, Moodle training. So it's, um, it's nice. It gives you a chance to really teach and there are lots of educators from around the globe. All right, we'll talk about that and I'll give you reminders. Overview, in the overview, which is called the zero section, notice topic one, two, three, and four, these are topic sections. And the overview, if you look in, in the um, browser window, you'll see that the link has section zero, it's a zero. The, name, the number of the course, and then you'll see zero. Topic one, of course, will say section one, section two, and so on. So an overview, you should have a summary at the top of each section. There's edit topic section. Under edit section, you'll have your summary. And of course, there's the editor, so that's where you add your video and the text or images, whatever you want. Okay, and then support forms. You should have a support form for each section, very important. And the support forms do not have a completion requirement. So no completion requirement for supports. Nobody has to click anywhere to complete it. Okay, next, in topic one, two, three, and four, you will have discussions with graded activities. At least one discussion with graded activity for each topic section and three activities excluding the discussions for topic one, two, three, and four. So altogether you have five activities, six activities. You will also have a page or URL. The URL is a link, a page, well, you'll find out. These are resources. The resources are there to give the content and then the discussions and activities follow. Okay, so that's the layout. Let me just get rid of the drawing and go on to the next slide. Okay, you're going to create a badge for each topic section. So each one of you will create one badge for your section. If you wanna create two badges, one whatever, that's fine too, but at least one badge, okay? The number is only for the, uh, the minimum. Okay, in each, uh, here, let me just go back here. So you're going to set each badge an activity criteria and a manual. Manual, I always do as a backup, manual as the manager, so that if something happens, I can always give someone a badge without, well, doing the work, but maybe not doing it right, just to make sure that they get awarded for something. And then for activity, you have to set the activities with activity completion criteria beforehand so that it'll appear in the activity criteria of your badge. Now, whatever I'm saying now may seem like, what is she talking about? I have no idea. Well, you will. So just listen, let it kind of seep in. Don't try to fight it. Don't try to, you know, like, oh yeah, I gotta understand this. Don't make an effort, just let the words flow and it'll make more sense once you're in there doing the actual work. 
Okay, so this is just uh, the criteria of what's expected and a checklist for you. And by the way, I added a new block activity and that is checklist. A few of you mentioned it, I used to have it, it wasn't updated. Now they updated it to the latest Moodle, so I was able to get it back. It's called a checklist, and you'll be able to add to the checklist as well, and students can also add to it. So you can use it in your courses, but you can also use it as a student in the main Moodle MOOC 21 course area. Okay, let's go on to rating. You're going to add a grade to the discussion form. If you've never done this before, it's quite exciting. It's exciting every time for me because uh, you take a look at each activity. You should have been able to see this in the teacher practice area, but I let you do whatever you wanted there. I didn't want to um, confine you, but here I'm confining you because here you have to design a course. So notice what's here, how you grade. You go to, I usually add maximum, but you can decide how you want the grades to be. And then um, the maximum grade for me is always 100, it's zero or 100, and they have to pass with 100. That's what you've been getting. So notice number one, the ratings, you go into number one, and then you go into number two, which is activity completion that I've been mentioning activity completion. You'll get the jargon. And then graded activity completion. This is what it will look like in the completion area. Require grade and then the rating, not by form, by rating. The last thing you'll be doing in week four is showcase and reflect, which is in another section not the week four section, it's in the next section. These are all clickable, by the way, on the PowerPoint. Reflect on the process of developing and designing the collaborative course. Of course, what you're focusing on and what I'm interested in, and you should be interested, is on the process and not the outcome. If you focus on the process, I'm sure the outcome will be a lot better and it'll be stress free. The process, that's what's important. How do you feel? How did it go? What didn't go? What did go? Mostly your reflection is very, very important during the process, more important than at the end. You'll be doing this through Flipgrid. So if Flipgrid is new to you, you'll get a chance to try it out. And then there's reflecting through Voki. You're going to speak through an avatar. Now you don't have to speak, especially if you've got laryngitis or something, no need to speak. You, you can add the text and the avatar will speak for you. If you'd like to have a free avatar that will speak for as long as you wish, I can give you, I have an organization account for Voki, and I can add you and share the um, login details with you. Voki is completely free, but you get longer Voki time with a, an organization account. This is the checklist that I mentioned. This is what you will see in the right block. Now, I'm sure you don't have this. When you were doing your blocks, it wasn't there. It's a new block that I just added, I think, yesterday or the day before. So uh, it might not be in your block as a student. Or as a manager, you would not have seen it. Just going to check. If we have any questions up to now about anything. Okay, so Frisini says Vokis. Okay, great. I didn't know what the, okay. So please uh, send me your messages in, in the support form and I'll take care of it right away. Okay, in week four or five, actually, well, not, I shouldn't say week five. I meant in the last section. Um, I don't think I need an email ID. 
or do I? No, I don't need an email ID. I just need to know if you want me to do this for you and then I'll share it. Vina, Vina, I think it's without, if I remember correctly, because it's also for young learners. Voki is uh, for educators. There's another avatar website that belongs to the same people, same founder of Voki for business that is not free. It's, uh, I think it makes most of its money from the business. So I'm not sure if I need an email. All right, let's see if there are other questions. I'll come back to that. Was there another question that was asked? I see one here. I hear Michael has a, editing topics and adding activity does not seem to be active in the design online courses for them. Okay, what you need to do, Michael, I've checked all the, I went in as a manager, you'll see me there with my uh, one of my organization accounts, and that's Nelly at integratingtechnology.org. Um, and it works. The only thing you need to do, remember, is to turn editing on. I know it's not intuitive, but it's the only way that Moodle manages to separate the teachers and managers from the students or the users is with the turn editing on. So Michael, make sure that editing is turned on when you go in there. Remember, you're a, te you're a manager in this area and you're coming from a student status in the main course. So you may have to do this each time. You've turned editing on, Michael, and you only have one account. That's interesting. Maybe I didn't put you in the right place. But actually that doesn't make sense because did someone add you or did I add you? If someone else added you, then uh, I don't know how they added you as what. So we'll have to see how that's. What about anybody else having problems? I'm going to go there in a minute. So we'll see um, what's going on. Okay, I'll see what your status is. You can also change a check your status, by the way. If you go into your course profile, you'll be able to find all your courses, but you'll also be able to find your profile uh, role. Are you a teacher in the course? Are you a manager or are you a student in the course? So, Michael, if you go just for, um, you know, for the learning aspect, could you go into your profile on Moodle for Teachers and check to see what role you have? That would be interesting. Oh, you were able to edit before. That is really strange. Well, of course, uh, wasn't visible. <laughs> that sounds funny, Paul. Now you see, now you don't. Um, we'll take a look at that. Okay, um, don't forget that I was, well, the site was off under maintenance for a couple of hours while I was doing the um, upgrading. Okay, so let's see. Oh, thank you, Paul. All right, great. Okay, so this is um, the checklist. As I said, it's both an activity and a block. Learners can set it up as well as teachers. Notice these are all the activities. They appear on the left, you can check them off. And there's also the zero, where you see the zero at the top there. That's where uh, you'll see it going right now. Notice I've got zero because I haven't done anything here. Um, and it appears on the right block. You have to open the block as a student and as a manager or teacher, you need to turn editing on in order to view it. Of course, as a reminder, these are your badges. Some of you already have three. How many badges do you have so far? Those of you that started late, um, you'll have to go back and finish, but hopefully we're all on the same page with the collaborative courses. If there are any questions, 
please feel free to use the um, support forms. Uh, there are no roles. Oh, okay, which means that you don't have a role. Yes, that's a problem. Okay, so let's see what's going on there. Uh, maybe you're in another course. Maybe I made a mistake because I, I assigned everybody to where I thought they belonged, but maybe I made a mistake. So we'll look at that. So these are the course badges, and this is your final certificate. Notice it's one credit because um, you're doing at least 45 hours of work weekly work. Okay, so now we're going, I'm going to stop screen sharing so um, I can see you guys. And let me just fix it so I can see everybody. I can see your videos. And I'm going to go to the site. There we are. Hi, everybody. Oh, Vina, I haven't seen you in a long, well, almost a year, I think. Right, Vina? There you are, Paul. Yes, we should all do this. Good exercise, right? For, um, I should get my juggling balls. Um, for online, the only thing we can't exercise, I have a friend who goes like this all the time um, to um, stretch and not be on a seat for so many hours. Okay, so um, the mics are open. I am going to go to the site and uh, we'll start with problems. I think I'm in as, hmm, as a student. That's not gonna help you very much, is it? Okay, so let's see. I went in as a manager. Um, Michael, you can unmute yourself. Tell me which, which course is it? I'm uh, looking at the... Yeah, let uh, me... You said that you don't have a role, which means that maybe I put you in the wrong place. Um, but then I don't know who put you there. Okay, so let's, what's it called? Designing online course for design thinking. Is that the one? That's right. Okay, so let's, I'm going in as a manager. So um, this is what you should see, right? And you said you were able to, and now you're not. Yeah, I'll put That's, it in the general references page. So I've yeah, done that so something's gone wrong. Okay, so that's what you should all see. Okay, when you go in, Paul, you said something about now you see it, now you don't. You need to turn editing on in order to see the, uh, the block. If you're talking about the sharing block, I removed it uh, because there's a problem now with Merit Hub. It uh, interferes with a sharing cart for some reason, so that's why. I had to remove one of them while they're working on it. So uh, is that what you meant? Now you see it, now you don't? Okay, so let's see what else. Uh, if you click on the participants in that screen. Yeah, I'm just thinking uh, that I'm better off to go and change my status. Hi, sorry, Nelly. Um, yeah, go ahead. No need to be sorry. What happened was that usually you, you found the plus uh, icon on the left uh, sidebar. Yes. At yes. the bottom, but it wasn't actually visible. You have to go into uh, bank, this one. A question bank and then questions and then add questions. It was like a different uh, place. But then when I, when I went into the into the, 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 the place, I mean, you, you had told us to go. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I just put my uh, arrow below the little house there mm -hmm. and the sign other block appeared in light blue, but the icon was never there. I, I showed that in my Oh, video. I see what you mean. Yeah, I haven't seen your video yet. Um, let's, you. Michael, <laughs> you're here. No rules. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe something's changed when I did the upgrade uh, because I'm trying to open this up. Let me see if I can do something else here. What you should do, uh, Paul, is click on this and it should open it up and then you'll be able to see the uh, the sharing cart. Uh, because I'm screen sharing right now, 
um, my system doesn't seem to be working normally. Can you go in into your course and go up to the top? Do you see this one? Give me a second. I, I'm yeah, sure of, because yeah. right now it's just the icons. But when you oops, when you click on that, why did this happen? When you click on that. Let me know when it, anybody else wants to try it, feel free to try it too. Okay, I'm going to try it. Yeah, try it and see. Thank you, Nasira. Uh, but for some reason, nobody has a role here. Did you try it? Did it open yes. up for you? For me, yes. it's stuck. I'm, I'm trying. What, what course do I have to get in? My, my uh, own? And, yes. Your collaborative course. All right, I'm there. What's it called? Reading strategies in EAP. Okay. So I turn everything on. Because mine opened before, but it's not opening now. Okay, let me stop screen sharing. I'm going to go in as the, not to waste any more time here. Yeah, but no, it doesn't, it doesn't show. I turned everything on. But no, you don't have to turn. Oh, okay. Yes. No, what I want you to do is I want you to click on those three lines and then I'll know a little more of what's going on. Well, I click on the three lines and I only get the, the home icon, the participants, badges. Uh, Did you turn badges, editing on? Grades. Yes. Everything's mm. on. Yes. But okay. I can see the other blocks. Yeah, I think maybe you lost your rules. Let me see. Oh, no. Why did that happen? No, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, we're talking about Michael's. No, that's not Michael's. That's somebody else's. What was the name of the course? Um, design. Thinking. It was the third one. Yeah, design. I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, not closed again. Okay. All right. It could be that um, the theme is not working properly. What? Nelly, if you turn the editing off, then it'll put on to work. What do you mean? If, if you turn the editing off, then that three bars, click on the three bars works. Oh, yeah, right, right. But that's the problem. <laughs> we can't see the, uh, the blocks unless it's, um, see, it only goes up to, uh, well, on mine. Can't see it unless you open it up. So there's a problem here with the Java. All right, Let, let's uh, take care of this and I'll, um, I'll see what I can do about that. Worst comes to worst, we'll change the theme for this until they upgrade because uh, they haven't upgraded theirs yet. Okay, it should work in a couple of, in by tomorrow, I think it should be fine. Okay, so Michael, let's see um, what's going on here. I see everybody's a manager including you. Hmm. See, there's your manager, right? Uh, Is that your email? Maybe you have another one? No, that's the right email. I'm not sure what's happening. Let me, I'll log out and go back in again. Nelly, in our yeah. case, we have no roles. Um, no okay. Uh, your role is um, English for academic, or is it? Is it English yes. for academic? Yes, it okay. is. Okay, so let's see. So 
it's really slow with them. Um... See, there's the plus. That's what you were talking about, right? Paul, this is what you were looking for? Yes, yes. That's and you saw exactly. the that's word. Exactly. Yeah, I saw it yesterday, too. I also noticed that. Um, okay. So I say ma'am something? Yes, Niti? Yeah, actually, uh, what happens, uh, this plus will not come if all the activities at the writing side are not deleted. This I have noticed in my case also. So if the activities are removed in the writing side, this plus comes. This is what I have plus, noticed. The, the plus has to do with the blocks, not with the activities. Yeah, yeah. that plus has to do with the blocks. If the, pl the blocks are already in there in writing side, the plus won't come. Maybe. I don't know. I can't get into the courses. Okay, let's try here. Um, designing. Okay, let me stop screen sharing because it's not letting me. If you if you clicked on recent, the reading No, no, but I wasn't the there. Other. Yeah, but I, I wasn't there with this account. I changed my account. <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, it's really slow. But I meant the recent attack on top. Yeah, but that's recent for me, not for you. And you for... <laughs> messages in AP, you have it there. Oh, it's here. Oh, okay, good. Because I was there with another account. Oh, with this one. Thanks. Okay, okay so um, you said that you're not here. We have no roles. Let's check. Oh, that's interesting. I gave everybody I a role. I but you don't see it. this. That's what Michael said. He doesn't see it. Yeah. Michael, well, you don't see, see that. It. No, I've yeah. just logged back, logged out, and logged back in. I still can't see it. You don't still see it. So, uh, sorry, so, sorry, madam. I can. I think I have the uh, the right to edit on this uh, course. So this is your course. Um, yes. I think where's I your have, name? Uh, Nasira. Kuwait. Right. I don't see you here, Nasira. Yes, I don't see I, you here. That's why I was wondering what's your name <laughs> because I don't so, see you here. You're not in this course. You're in another course. Uh, so which course? Which course designing. are you in? You're with um, Forsini, yes. aren't you? Uh, design thinking and uh, yes. Oh, okay. That's with uh, that's with uh, Michael. And Michael. Michael. Yeah. I I'm trying to think of it. Look, if worse comes to worse, I'll have to um, add you again. Um, or let me, let me try something else. Something must have happened, which is kind of strange. Uh, okay, so Paul, I'm going to um, delete that. Good. Let's see what happens. Delete it and give it to you again. Let's see if it works. Otherwise, I'm probably going to have to do the whole all thing right. all over again. Oh, no. No, that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying, try now, refresh. All right. And see I if will. you see it. Um, I don't know if this means anything, but on the My Courses page, um, the design online courses is marked as completed. It's showing us the green line is completed on the on the main uh, my courses screen. Okay, let me check. So, uh, Paul, can you see it? No, I've refreshed a couple of times, but still, you don't see no manager. Uh, Paul, I, I I think you should uh, look out and uh, look in again. No, no, no. Let okay. me do something else. Wait, 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 Paul. Before you do okay. anything, you don't have to I leave. Wait. I'm just going to add you again and see if this works. Dr. Nelly, I can turn it. Uh, okay, on. Mike, what's your last name? What's your uh, Mike? No, not Michael. It's um, it's Paul, right? Paul. Yes. Paul Lavandeira. Lavandeira. L a b a n d e. Longley? No. No, on top of Longley. Lavandeira. Yes. Uh, no, because it doesn't go by alphabet. Well, that one. If it does. No, it doesn't. Um. Okay. So let me add you as a manager. And let's see if it uh, if it works now. Okay. For you, for me, it's showing that you're manager. All right, I'm refreshed. What I did was I removed you completely and then I reinstated you. Okay. All right. 
doesn't seem to work. It, you're still not a manager? Did I know. you turn editing on? Can you go into the um, go into the um, the users? Yes. Participants, sorry, go into the participants. I'm there. And do you see the list? I do. And what do you see? Sorry, I'm just scrolling down. Well, I see exactly the same you're, uh, you're showing on your screen. So you see yourself the... as, as a manager? No, that's, that's it. I, I don't see anybody as a manager. Would you Not like even... me to, to share my screen to see? No, I believe you. You don't see anybody oh. as the manager. No, no and anybody, anybody is there. Uh... I think they don't they don't work because I can't turn it on, but uh, it doesn't work. Even I can, I have the option add activity, but when I click on it, it doesn't work. When you click on this activities, yeah. it doesn't me. work. Y yeah, yes, it doesn't work. Okay. All right. That means, um, okay. All right. So let's do one more thing. Uh, we'll troubleshoot here. Let's do one more thing here and see how that works. And then we'll know what's going on. Okay. Let's... Okay, um, I'll tell you when, refresh your pages. Okay, wait a minute. Well, I'll tell you when. All right, you can refresh your pages. No, still the same. What? It's still the same? In the design online courses for design thinking. All the participants have got no roles, including you. Yeah, well, of course, I just added myself. That is really strange. Okay. So um, I think, okay, so it's not, it has nothing to do with the theme. Okay, so one more. Um, okay, so it's not Sorry, the theme. Suddenly, suddenly the the whole the page changed. has changed. Yeah, of <laughs> course, I changed it to. Um, I changed it. I changed. Oh. <laughs> I changed it to a def to um, a default one. I changed it so that we can see if the theme was causing problems. So it's not the theme that's causing problems. I think I know what's causing the problems. It's probably Merit Hub. It caused problems before. Okay, so the next stage, while you're still here, even though I can do this on my own, but you can see a little bit of troubleshooting. The next stage is to go into administration and the plugins. I'm going to remove um, this uh, problematic, I think it's causing problems. Um, manage activities, I'm going to delete it. Okay, so Merit Hub. I hope this will solve the problem. If it's here, I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to uninstall it. And that should take care of the problem. Yeah, I can't, and that's the problem. Okay, so that's the problem. Okay, now I know what the problem is. Um, I'm gonna have to uninstall it from somewhere else. Okay, so it should be fun in, um, in about an hour.
Um, I'll take care of it and it should work. So let's go back here, designing. So this is what you'll be doing. Thanks a lot. Yeah, um, this is what you'll be doing. You'll turn editing on. You'll be able to see everything. Um, okay, uh, these are the topics that I mentioned. Are there any questions besides the technical things that are my problem right now? Um, anything else about week four, the activities and week five from the main course area? Let me go back. Can here. I just ask a question, please? Something yeah, you on. had a question that you asked before about course completed. That has to do with, um, you know, with things being strange right now because of right. this uh, plugin that's corrupt. Okay. Now, That's my, why, my question, yeah. My question is, is about the, uh, the actual exercise we've got to do. We've got, it doesn't mean that we must each do a course, but work in collaboration with others. Is, is that what the exercise is for? That's the what I understood, Michael. Um, what did you understand? I don't want this. Yeah, we have yeah. to work in groups. I mean, whatever no, no, I mean, Michael, what did, what did you oh, understand? Sorry. Well, I, I understood that topic one, I would do it. Topic two, many would do it. Uh, topic three, uh, Zaina would do it, and, but we'd work in conjunction with each other. But that doesn't appear to be the... the yes, that's stand. exactly it. Right. Yes, that's exactly so we it. Each have, we each have different topics. Um, topic sections. Topic section, but each have different uh, different courses to design. No. No. no, one course, different. Let's say a course has different topics. Okay, let's go back to, um, let's um, over here. Okay, so you've got, let's say uh, your topic. Okay, your topic is uh, good eating habits. Okay, that's the general course name or the general right. topic of the course. And then there's the overview, which you'll probably do at the end with your syllabus and a summary of the, of the different sections in general. And then you've got topic one, section one. Uh, that's one aspect of healthcare that one person will be working on. So for healthcare, maybe... Um, I don't know what sub what topic could you have for healthcare? Um, maybe physical care, physical health care. And that person will write about uh, I don't know, exercising and going to the doctor twice a year, whatever. Um, or I don't know. So let's say physical health. And then section two will deal with mental health. Okay. Um, just as a possibility. And then they could write about the different aspects of in general, because obviously there's a lot more to it. And then topic three could be um, how to avoid injuries uh, around the house um, to take care. In other words, go a little more deeply into uh, physical care. And then uh, for men, maybe section four could be um, something related to either physical health um, exercise, for example, uh, exercise that you can do anywhere at any time. Maybe that could be section four. Section five could be um, relaxing exercises for your mental health. And then you could maybe, I mean, just break it down into different subtopics of the general course topic in each section. Right. Okay, I understand that. Does that make sense? So for example, Michael, you've given a lot of uh, Moodle courses. Okay, so what topic do you teach? Well, one of, one of them would be uh, infection control. Okay, all right. So infection control. So that, that would be um, maybe, I don't know, is that a general, would you focus on that in different sections, different aspects of... Um, you have, uh, um, what to do with COVID. And then you'd have a, a microbiology section and then you'd have a, 
uh, PPE section. Okay, so let's start with a problem. What problem are you trying to deal with when you want to discuss your topic, which is infections or, or infection care, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, what problem can you think of that would interest people that they would come to your course? I'm gonna take this course because, oh, this is exactly what I need in my life to solve a problem that I have. What is the problem? What do people well, have? Pro what mm -hmm. yeah, the problem I would look at is for, for infection control, you have a, a person who wants to get a job in an aged care facility and wants to make sure that they understand before they go to, to work, what to do about infection control. So you're talking about work-related infections? Uh, no, in, in aged care, so the, uh, avoiding the elderly getting infections. Oh, how to avoid infect, how to avoid, how to care for yourself so you don't get infections as much as and you can. And how to care for others. Yeah. Oh, and how to get, okay, so how to deal with it. Okay, so how to avoid, how to deal with, um, first of all, you would have a topic on what infections um, can people get? What kind of, uh, I mean, we're not relating normal people, okay? Average, the average infections that um, you'd like to deal with in your course, okay? So that would be one section, a general, you know, and then the next section would be specific to um, what kind definitions of infections, problems people might have, and then solving the problems in different sections. Mm -hmm. So it's scaff scaffolding your topic. You've got one topic and you wanna to break it down. So what you're doing in this uh, collaborative course, you're doing it together. You've reached a consensus, you know what the topic is, you know what the problem, the people that you think would appreciate such a course, uh, you have to think of them and cater to, of course, to their needs, in your head, what you think they would need, uh, this uh, audience. And then uh, everybody will take care of one section. This is your section and you're going to lead. In other words, when you're teaching the course, you'll be the one leading this section. You're the expert in this particular section that you developed and um, you're going to show a video of yourself, introduce yourself and introduce the section in the summary of the section, topic section, and uh, and then do um, according to the list here, you go on to create a support form, you give the summary of your section, and then you add a page or URL, you wanna add the content. And then um, you can also add a video, of course, of the content for, your uh, participants to watch and then questions, a discussion form relating to the content that you added and different activities. Right. Understand. Does it make Thank sense? You. Yes, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay, it's good to ask. Okay, every question um, is important. Okay, never think, I, I know as a kid, I used to think I'm not gonna ask because you know I'm gonna sound stupid or um, you know, I'm supposed to know it. So why would I ask what I'm supposed to know? So they'll think I'm, you know, so please try to forget that, you know, ask whatever it is, no, uh, no reason to apologize. It's important also to pass this on to your students that every question is important and they should be free to ask. So please ask, okay? All right. So that's basically it. Now I've got some work to do to fix up um, the mess <laughs> with the upgrade. Okay, I'll take care of it. Any other questions? Questions? Yes. Yes, yes for please, Celie, if please. I may. Always. Uh, <laughs> always, always. Yes. You know, my always. mother passed You may always. Yes. When I was a little girl, mm -hmm. because she was not educated and she told me, I'm, I'm sending you to school, you're being educated and you don't dare to ask when you have questions, why should, would you be afraid? <laughs> to ask or not to ask? 
to, to, to ask. Ah, oh, good, good. She told good. me, you are educated, you know how to speak, how to... Ah, uh, you shouldn't be embarrassed. Forward, so uh, you shouldn't be embarrassed asking questions. So yeah, I that's guess the problem. That's yeah, that's the problem. Too. Yeah, a lot of people feel embarrassed. <laughs> but, you know, maybe, maybe I'm not at that level that I could ask, you know. Terrible, terrible. Questions are great. Yes, go ahead, Frosini. And that's what I pass on to my students also. <laughs> um, I had a question about the, the two activities about sharing the, the, the collaborative course syllabus in uh, mm -hmm. week four. There's one about sharing the syllabus for the team to view, if I understood it. And then the other one is about the final syllabus. But both are to be shared in view mode. So I'm not sure I understand the difference. Is the first one to be shared to the team in order to, to prove that we have created the document? No, it's for technical things. You're talking about, uh, um, I mean, it's, it's for grading purposes, okay? To give you credit. For grading so that purposes? You can get, yeah, to, to, you know, to allow you to get, you'll understand this once you create um, your own course, that the badges yes. are based on the way you set yes, up. Yes, yes. That's okay, the conditions or the completion. So what I did was, uh, we're talking about here, right? I noticed to do, uh, this yes. is part of the, um, the checklist that's over mm -hmm. here. Okay, so for example, this is teamwork um, and here's the policy. This is the uh, resource, it's a URL, right? Yes. You copy it, you click on it and then you can you copy, copy it. 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 Only one person, you need to mute your mic. Yeah, only one person can create it, okay? And then you add everybody, everybody's email to the doc so that they can create it. So the first one, this one is just a URL, it's the resource and this one, is the submission. In other words, this is where you submit. Everyone submits it, even though it's a collective one. I need to see each one so I can grade it properly. I mean, I, so I can give you credits, not the grading, so that you can get your uh, badge. Is that clear? You can unmute yourself. <laughs> what happened? Hope we didn't lose you. If for Sini. Can you hear me? Yes. Sorry, am I I'm on two devices. Am I on two Ah, that's why I was device. echoing from the other yes. from one of them. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um okay, my question wasn't about the team policy, but by the way, as you're showing the, the course page, you have shared your Gmail for us to give you editing rights. And mm -hmm. I think there may be a typo in your Gmail. So if people copy paste it. Where is it? Um, ah, yeah, uh, yes, the, the, the L is missing. The L is missing in the team yes. policy. I'll fix that. Yes. Team syllabus. Yeah. My mm -hmm. question was Thank about the, the team syllabus. There are two activities, mm -hmm. team syllabus and final team. Yeah, syllabus. this is the team syllabus over here. That's right. Create, share the and syllabus. Then, that's and right. And then, team. yeah. And then, and the final submission when we. The submission is here. It. Yes. So, what are we supposed to do in, in, in the first activity? Just share. Just copy it. Copy it, even if it's not completed it in view mode and send a message saying that we have created the document. No, this is not a, this is not a task. I think it's a forum. Oh, it is. It's a, it's a discussion from among you. Yes, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's a, it's a team discussion. You just discuss it here. Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, it's a team discussion. That's funny. Notice it works for me. I wonder, okay, I think maybe it's just a role thing. I think I played around with the role, Michael. I think that's the problem. It's not the theme. And Paul, it's not the theme. It's the roles. I must have, uh, by mistake, taken away some of your permissions. Okay. Um, all right. So what you have here 
is a discussion that's based on team. So there are four teams. Why are there four teams? I thought there were only three. And were they twice? Yeah, I'll have to see about oh, that. That's one that is twice, yes. Yeah, no, but it's Efrosini's. Okay, I'll check why it's twice so that there aren't any problems there. All right, so what you do is you go into your, well, you don't, you're not going to see this. You're not going to see all participants. You just you're just going to see, yes, because I'm the, the, the manager, I can see everybody's, but you're only going to see yours. And I see that no one has responded yet. Yes, see what happens. I wanted to, to make sure whether. Yeah, but this is only for you. Notice it's not, it's not a requirement. <laughs> You don't have to do it. Oh, okay. It's not as far as, or is it, let me check. If it has a tick on the right, then it's a requirement, but I, I have a feeling it's not a requirement. Because it's just for you to collaborate. It, and if we post it in the final team syllabus activity, I, I don't know what the reason is behind this activity, unless to document that it has been created for ticking off purposes. Yeah. Yeah, so just uh, discuss your, uh, your team policy there. Okay. Yeah, Nelly, that is what I don't seem to understand. What you mean is that just something to be happy and you don't have to make it up. It's noisy. There's something wrong with... Is it okay? Yeah, no, my, okay. uh, it's my plug that keeps moving. And, uh, I see, that's, that's what it sounded like. My okay. microphone yes. is okay. So yeah. the question is for team policy. The mm -hmm. team policy is already in a Google Doc and we only need to copy it inside our courses. And give we it don't a... have to make up a new policy. No, no, no. Well, okay. look, you're going to use that. What you do is this, you copy it. Let's say um, this is your team policy, okay? You copy it. It's, only, it's view only, which means you go into the file, you copy it. Okay. Um, copy, you make a copy. Have you done this before? Is this yes, mute? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so you make, but only one person can do it. This is what I do in the classroom. I ask one person to do it, they make a copy. And then when you make a copy, you have to add, you, you change the name, of course. Name. Okay. Right, you're gonna call it, I don't know, team. Uh, okay. But in Whatever. terms of contents, the contents is the same. It's the same. The the exactly. Same. That's the idea. Right. But you Wonderful. can add you can add to it. Of course. I mean, you can add your own things too. It's not just like, you know, it's mine okay. and nothing okay. can be added to it. But use okay. use the basic uh, format. And then there's another question I have. We mm -hmm. have a uh, participant, Suwana, who said she has involved in the course, but her name doesn't What's appear. her name? Suwana. Ah, it's yes, yes, I saw her name. Did you see it? Um, what's her last name, Vershaldi or something? I think I saw with a V. Her last name starts with a V, right? Suwarna Kulkarni. No, that's another name. Um, what's yours? It's not, it's not here anymore. E, uh, EAP. Yeah, but it's disappeared. Um, it's not under recent. You said you saw it before, and I did too, and I couldn't understand why I was there because I'd never. That's because you, you entered other courses later. So I've no, never, okay. no, I've never, no, I never entered um, okay. yours with this account. I only entered with the other oh, account. Oh, I see. There it is. That's, yeah. Okay. It's the same uh, category, which is why. Okay. So this is. Um, Among participants? Mm -hmm. I think she's here. Maybe she wasn't active. Is, she, is this the one? No, no, no. no. Suwarna. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Ah, here you are. Yeah, you disappeared. Yeah, you sent me an email. Um, I think it was you. Didn't did you send me an email today? Or Vrishali sent me an email? No, ma'am. Suwarna. To, yeah, Suwarna. you have to be. Yeah, you have to be in the course. Otherwise, you get... Boot it out. The system throws you out. If um, did you send me an email asking me to re to add you again? Because I added somebody, but I don't remember who. Okay, let me see. Um, you're probably if you are not there for a week, the system. There you are. I added you. 
Okay. All right. So you're here. You're back in the course. Okay. Yes. You did send me a message and I added you. I just need to add you here. Okay. Before you, anyone disappears, uh, please let me know so you don't get um, thrown. That's what I tried to do. I tried to enroll her myself, but I couldn't yeah. do that. Maybe because yeah, I I'm added her. Manager. Yes. I think, as, I think you mentioned it today, right, Swarm? Um, and I... Um, I added. See, I, I don't have that. I oh, don't have. It, the I know. I know. There's a problem time. there. I, you lost your rights, and I think I'm to blame right. for that. Uh, how do you spell your name? Uh, S. S U W A R N A. S U. W A. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Okay. This one. You. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. I wonder if you'll. Yeah, I know what happened. It's not the theme. It's not that. It has to do with, um, well, it could be a combination. It has to do with your roles. I, I made some, I was playing around with it, and I made some changes in the manager roles, and maybe that, if, in general, maybe that probably affected you. So you're written in as a manager, but you don't seem to have manager rights mm -hmm. for some reason. Yeah. I'll have to yeah, figure that out and fix it. Okay. So, uh, uh, Swarna. Suwarna, yes, right? Can you yes, check? Can you check to see if um, if you see manager? I'm just curious. And is Rashali here today? But Michael, you said that it was working fine uh, yesterday or a couple of hours yes, ago. It was. It was working yesterday. Okay. So all right. Um, yeah, now I see. To, yeah. Sorry, now I now I see Suwarna in the group, but also uh, yeah, yeah, no because roles. I have to change. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll okay. fix that. Okay, I think it's less, it's not as big a problem as I thought. Okay, I think I know exactly what it is. Okay, I'll fix that up. Any other questions or comments? I told you I love troubleshooting, so this is um, an opportunity <laughs> to fix. It, it actually actually is. You if you like troubleshooting this is these are good times for you yes it is <laughs> that's why <laughs> i can't wait to do it <laughs> see i have to do it right away <laughs> so that's why um okay so any other questions before i go to my favorite pastime one last question if yes I'm, if for I'm not monopolizing if nobody else needs to ask something urgent um i wanted to ask about individual tasks and group tasks Basically, the group task is the course collaboration and creation, and yes. what the submissions are to be done in the week four and uh, collaboration. None. Um, reflect, showcase and reflect. None. Are um, individual. Yes, it's all individual. Okay. For grading purposes and other purposes. I, I'm sure you've um, encountered... Yeah. Yes. All kinds of problems with team grades. <laughs> um, you know, from my experiences, they don't really work because why did she get and I did this and I, why did she and why did he and why, you know, um, when it comes to grading, it's a real, it's a huge problem. So everybody basically gets a hundred and uh, hopefully they did their work. But in this case, it's based on um, the work that you do. And the videos that you create showing, oh, showcasing Nelly, your please, work. Yes. Please, please check my Kahoo challenge. It appears like I haven't done it, but I did it a long time ago. Yeah, I saw it today. <laughs> How come I only saw it today? I don't know. Because <laughs> you, you, were, you were not there for a couple of days, for about five days. I, I wasn't here days. For, a, for, for a long couple of days because I was like overwhelmed with a lot of work that I had. No, to no, find. I'm sure. No, I, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm just saying I didn't see you. And then all of a sudden, oh, he's back. Um, you know, and I was yeah. very happy that you're back. But you see, I'm, I get Thank all this you. information. No, you're, you're not. Anyway, you're not losing me. I, I might no, have no. time, but I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying that I, I see and I, and I get messages. I don't know if you can see this on the right. Let's yeah. see if anybody, but I get, you see here, Dr. Nelly, absent users. Mm, That's right. me. Okay. So your name appeared here for a couple of days. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so shame. you don't see utter, this, utter but I see shame it. on me. I know. I no, know. no, no, that's okay. So I saw oh. your Kahoot um, only, I think yesterday from but I think 
it was on the activities, wasn't it? Yeah, there was in the, uh, there was, uh, mm, the, uh, yeah, the one on activities and resources, the challenge yes, and exactly. activities and exactly. resources. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I, th I think it was in teacher editing rights. That was teaching editing rights. Um, probably, yeah, it could be. Let me, let me check just to make sure while you're here. All right. So um, we know what we're talking about. So we're talking about um, teacher editing rights. If there are any other questions, feel free to ask them. Okay, and where would you like me to go? Um, the Kahoot. This one, right? Uh, Kahoot challenge. Uh, I think. No, no. That I think that's it, not the that's not the tag. Ah, uh, that's not the one. No, 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 no. Creating no. activities. This one. Kahoot challenge. This one. You see. Okay, and I see that I have three yeah. unread messages. Yes, I I, I wrote mine very. And early. there, I see Paul. I see that this is yours on the 16th. That's me. So that was a long time ago. That's that's up maybe to me. sometimes I grade it and the grade. Uh, I didn't. I didn't even see that. Nope. There it is. Yeah. And there's a. Oh, I can't. Uh, that's it. That's why I can't go in there because it's finished. You need to extend the time. Okay, okay, I will. Okay, make sure that whatever Kahoot you're doing. Oh yeah, I remember this one, yeah. Um, that uh, I think your other one also, there were two of them. You have to make okay. sure that uh, you extend I, I, it to I, the I, end of the month. All right, I'll put off the finishing time, okay. You I know will. how to do it? Everybody know yeah. how to extend your time to make sure, that otherwise we can't see it if the time, you just see the podium and whoever came in first, second. Right, first. okay, I'm doing it right now. Okay, thank you, sorry about that. Thank you, thank you. Well, it's, it's good I asked, I didn't know I had to, to do this. No, I would have added a comment because I get notifications, I just didn't get there for some reason. Mm. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Thank if you, there aren't Lily. any questions, feel free to use the um, the support form for questions, and I'll take care of the manager thing right away. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Have a nice weekend.